The Goldsmith plugin is curated for the Goldsmith industry. There are several ways to perform cash sale. The first way to create a new cash sale, click on cash sale. Then here, you can key in your IC number. Then, you can key in your state. We can also click on read my card. Then, right click to add an item. Here, you can select the item that you want. And alternatively, you can also scan the barcode of the item that you want and it will automatically be added to the main tab. So once you have selected the item that you want to purchase, you can select the type of payment that you want. For example, I would choose cash. Then, click on the cash amount. The change that is required will automatically be calculated. So once the payment is made, click OK. So to view the saved transaction, go to sales and click on cash sale. So here, you can notice the type of payment done, which was cash, the paid amount, the IC number and the state. Now, I will demonstrate the next way you can create a cash sale. So to do that, click new to create a new cash sale document. Then under the main tab, right click to add an item. For example, I will choose 916 gold R. which represents for Pantai Lehir. In other words, the chain. Then here, we can modify the gram. For example, if the chain is too big, the price will automatically be calculated based on the changes done. So, under the payment method, if we click cash and we key in the amount, and after the transaction over in the main window, here, you can notice that the gram adjustment that we have done just now would have been posted to stock adjustment. So here, you can notice there is a new document created. So if we double click here, we are able to view further details. Next, you can also trade in your old gold when purchasing a new item. The system will automatically calculate the difference for you too. So to do that, we will create another new cash sale document. Yes, select the item that you want to add. For instance, I will select 2 chin chin, which would be 2 ring. Then, go to the trade in detail tab. Select the creditor, which would be cash purchase. Then, click on the plus sign to add the item code. Then here, you can select the type of gold that you want to trade in. For example, 999 old gold. Then key in the gram that you want to trade in, for example, 2.5 grams. The price will automatically be calculated and displayed. You can see here under the trade-in total column, the total quantity that trade in is 2.5 grams and the total amount for that trade in is 537 ringgit and 50 cent. So the final payment would be 871 ringgit 46 cents. So once you select the payment method, you can key in the cash paid and the change will automatically be calculated. So once done, click OK. So if we look at the document here, we can notice that the amount paid is 871 ringgit. We can see that new cash purchase document is created. This document is the document that has automatically been created when we trade in the 999 old gold. And then the trade in value and the contra document. The contra document is the document created when we trade in our old gold with the new gold. And this would be the contra amount. To create a new sales order, click on sales order. Then, click here on new debtor if you haven't created a debtor. Key in the name. After that, click on the plus sign here to generate the new debtor code. You can key in the billing address if you want to. I will choose to omit it. So once done, then click save. Now here, select the debtor's name which you have created just now. Then, right click to add the item code. For example, I will choose Pandora Locket. After that, click on Payment and Refund to key in the deposit payment. Here, under the Payment tab, click the plus sign. Then, select the payment method. I will choose Cash. Then here, key in the payment amount. So once you have keyed in the payment amount, the payment amount will be deducted from the total SO, and the total balance would be the remaining payment, which the system will automatically calculate. So once done, click Close, and here, click Save to save the sales order. Thank you.